glad that the governor's got your attention, keeping everyone quiet. Yeah. But <coughs> on the night of the invasion, we were sitting down having supper, and uh, the governor's announcement came over at quarter past seven. It spoiled our supper. I don't even remember the, uh, the good meal that Shirley had provided. But um, when we picked ourselves up off the floor and got our wits together, Shirley got on the phone to Norma, and my son Morgan was in Stanley at school, um, living with Norman Willie at the time, and said, would you bring Morgan out to safety and come along and join us and uh, shelter the war out in the safety of Goose Green, which foolishly they did. And um, there was Willie, Norma, Troy and Haley, and Haley's boyfriend at the time, Graham Morrison, who helped drive Willie out, because if you remember at that time we had no road to Goose Green. There was a road that got as far as nearly, I think, uh, Mount Harriet, and then there was a long gap to Elephant Canyon, and uh, it was pretty grim and gruesome between that, but with Graham's help, they all arrived out in the early hours in the morning. But unbeknown to <coughs> Willie at the time, and to us, that it actually drove over the fingers and toes of Busa Tactico coming up from Mullet Creek to get down to Sappers Hill. Uh, this was told to him by some of the members um, some weeks later. Anyway, they all arrived early hours of the morning and, and then uh, uh, Willie <coughs> became part of the community, 89 folks from Goose Green made up the uh, settlement and uh, 26 took shelter from Stanley. Little to know that they went out of the fire into, or out of the frying pan into the fire because they all became prisoners of war on the 1st of May. Now I had not a lot of difficulty with the Argentine officers because they were all educated people and they all spoke uh, <coughs> perfect English. But there was a problem uh, with the um, conscripts and the uneducated ones, and that's where Willie really came in. He could speak to them, thanks to Domi O'Sullivan and his Spanish lessons in the school, and uh, Willie, Willie had a good command of the language, and he could get through and understand. And as the governor said, and somebody else did in his accreditations, that Willie was always calm and collected, and always uh, poured oil over troubled waters and got the best results. And I remember on one night during the battle, there was nine, ten of us in the house. We had old Mrs. McCollum above the floor between two deep creases covered with blankets and a big mattress to stop splinters flying into it. And the rest of us was down under the floor in the foundation. And Graham went up uh, in the early hours to get Mrs. McCollum a drink of tea. And he said, there's an Argentine soldier in the pantry. So I went up there to have a look, and this fellow didn't speak any English at all. So we called Willie up from under the floor. Up he comes through the trap hole, the bolt <coughs> hole as we called it. And uh, he spoke to this bloke and said, uh, how did you get in? He said, broke the window. And uh, he said, where's your rifle? And he said, outside the door. So sure enough, his rifle was outside the door. And he was in the pantry, spooning back filled milk, powdered milk, like there was no tomorrow. <laughs> and we said, well, you can't stop here. You've got to go out. And he said to Willie he needed shelter and some protection. So we put him into our garage, which had an old dog tucker, minky old moldy sheep carcass hanging there, which the bloke started to peel off and fry on a on a, some sort of burner, and actually, uh, I think it was a methylated spirit burner, and heat it back. And Willie's carpentry come in for the second time at Goose Green. He helped us put a plywood patch over the window this chap had broken. But his carpentry also came in when we were locked up in the hall, with his saws cutting holes, bolt holes down through the floor, so people could, if, if there was firefight and bullets were coming through the building, could get down under the floor, under the shelter of the foundations, amongst the rats and all the rest of the things, and uh, have some protection. 
And in our office in the uh, what was called the medical room, he'd sawed another hole there so we could all go down underneath. What we had to do then was break a hole in the foundation so we could get out should the house go on fire from a mortar bomb or, or anything else. And we had other trouble then. Argentinians wanted to come in the height of the battle and shelter with us. So Willie helped us <coughs> break up a table. I don't know what sort of table it was. And barricade the hole to stop the Argentinians coming in. So Willie um, was a great help and a great comfort to us all that were locked up in the hall because of his knowledge of Spanish and he could get through to the ones, the less educated ones who couldn't speak English. Because I, I could, I had a few words of Spanish which was really got a Spanish from Montevideo, like uh, <laughs> and Bamboos, and <coughs> you name it. But uh, yeah, <laughs> Willie smoothed the waters for us and he was a great help and a great comfort. Thank you, Willie. And thank you, sir, for inviting all these people here to enjoy his moment. Excellent. Well done. Well, praise indeed, and well deserved. Now to the award ceremony itself, and if anybody who's got cameras wants to come up, um, I should like, if I may, to read the certificate. It doesn't have that well-modulated ancient language that possibly uh, the OBE certificate and the MBE certificate has. Um, it's written in plain English, which for me can be a blessing. <laughs> in the name of Her Majesty the Queen Elizabeth II, and on behalf of the Falkland Islands Government, this certificate of honour is awarded to William Edward Bowles in recognition of meritorious services given to the Falkland Islands, for his services on behalf of those interned by Argentine forces in Goose Green in May 1982, and for his encouragement of young people interested in woodworking and carpentry, dated 14 August 2010, signed by myself as Governor of the Falkland Islands. And I will now present the certificate and also the badge of honour and it's with great pride and pleasure and humility that I do so. So if I can present to Mr. William Edward Bowles, first the certificate, and then I won't pin it on you if I'm <laughs> the badge of honor and 